don't you get it by thousand? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that code? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that to my mistake? Covering these feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. I can't even think straight. So I'ma just tweet it and delete it. Knowing you won't read it before we get too far away. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing another reset. You know, it is nothing like having your house in order, everything put in its place before you really, really start the day. And before I headed out on this day, I knew I needed to tackle the downstairs, specifically the kitchen, dining room, and laundry room. Those are the common areas they get dirty and messed up and disorganized and just things are all over the place so much easier in these areas plus this past weekend was memorial day and we did have family and friends over to celebrate my mother-in-law's birthday so now that i had some time to myself with no one in the house specifically just me and harlem i wanted to take advantage of getting this house in order and together so before i really tackle any of the cleaning what i've been doing lately is i've been trying to do this drink that i saw online which is um, approximately one squeezed lemon and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in 16 ounces or either eight ounces of water I try to have this every morning at least once or twice a day so if i can do it in the morning i also try to get it in before i go to bed and days that i go into the office i'll just do it in the evening time before i go to bed it's supposed to be very good to help with your blood pressure your high cholesterol and things of that nature so i've been getting into the habit of doing that so as you guys can see here i am fixing my little lemon and apple cider vinegar drink for the morning it really doesn't taste bad once you get used to it and once you have it day after day i recommend if you want it to try it apple cider vinegar has so many health benefits for you so i would definitely give it a try again it takes some getting used to you have to get acquired to the taste so i've been doing that for about a week and a half now and you know again i've been getting used to it so once i make my morning drink now i begin to tackle the kitchen and begin to clean up i always kind of start in the kitchen um it just kind of gives me that like initial starting place so i always start in my kitchen here you'll see i'm just cleaning the countertops off really getting rid of all of everything that doesn't need to be there the bottles any dishes um anything that just needs to go in its proper place so i'm putting everything up again i am going to tackle the dishes and a few but i like to start off in my kitchens normally with the countertop to clean off the countertops to get all of those things and especially when it comes to the bottles we recycle and so usually I try to make sure that I get all the bottles together so that I can then take it back to the store to recycle them. And the bottles accumulate very quickly. So here you'll see I'm just separating out all the recyclables. Um, we do have some bottles that aren't necessarily redeemable. So what we'll do is that we'll put them in the specific recycle bin outside. And then the other ones that I can take back to the store to recycle and redeem, I'll separate them. Here you'll see Woody came home. Um, after his first morning job and as soon as Harlem saw him come to the door or heard the door rattling he ran to the door the thing about Harlem is he'll run to greet Woody but then as soon as why are you over here near me he'll run back to me <laughs> oh my god now he excited when that tail get the wagon <laughs> okay. 
Next, now that I've had the countertops cleaned off, I'm going to remove the dishes that are in the dish drainer before I can wash any new dishes to put in there. Now, as you guys can see, the, I'm removing the grills, um, the grill plates that we had so that we grilled on, made sure I cleaned those up and removed any of the cups and utensils that are there before I start to do the dishes and clean up some new dishes that we have accumulated. So the one thing I can say is that having a home it really, really gives me great pleasure and joy to come home to, to a clean house. I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes when I'm tired, I can kind of let the house go. But usually, I probably clean up at least two to three times, maybe even four times a week. Because it's just nothing like that feeling of coming home and just knowing that your house is together. Your house is nice and clean and just everything is put in its proper place. I've been in, and I've had my times and my moments in my life where I've just kind of let things be. And I realized that your environment, your home, the atmosphere in which you are, it really does um, play a part in your mental your mental well-being and just your thoughts and just your progress in life and just being able you know when you're in a nice clean environment you just are able to focus on progress in your life and other things in other areas in your life so that's why I'm always tackling my home I've actually made it just a part of my weekly routine to always really pay specific attention to certain areas of my house you will see in future videos that I'm gonna really zone in on our bathroom getting our bathroom together like maybe adding some pictures up and just things of that nature and I really do need to tackle our guest room in addition to my office and even what you guys bedroom I want to give it some pizzazz some life you know put some pictures up you know it's just right now most of the walls of the house are kind of bland so I'm really gonna focus in on that as you guys can see here i had to put harlem up because he was all over the place he will stick to your ankles and there have been several times that i've kind of hit him by accident or kicked him by accident as i'm walking and you just don't realize that he's right there so i've sectioned him off so that i can really tackle things without him being in the way he eats he sleeps he's still a baby so one moment you'll see him up moving the next second you'll see him napping the next second you'll see him reaching up for me to pick him up the next second he'll just want to you know his belly rub and then he'll go back and lay down so I had to separate him off so that I can really tackle this dining room. I cleaned off the table, put everything away, like the bills that came in. You know, when Woody and I come throughout the week, we're dropping our, our bags there, our hats there, our jackets there. All of the mail that comes from outside, we're just plopping it there on that table. So I made sure I put all of everything away, put all the coats up in the closet, put all of our bags upstairs where they belong, put all the mail um, upstairs so that it can be later sorted and looked at and reviewed and you know pay our bills and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to give this floor a good mopping. I bought a Swiffer mop some months ago and just never opened it, never used it, was using a regular plain old mop but I'm like no, now that we have the dog and now that you'll see I'm picking up these chucks off the floor. He's had a couple of incidents you know which is what it's intended for i'm like you know what i have to pay more attention to mopping this floor so i'm picking up all of the chucks off of the floor and i'm moving all the plants from the window so that i can kind of clear that area out um also with the table being free I'm like you know what let me cater to this table so you'll see i use some windex to wipe off the glass in the center of the table and then i use some i forgot what this is i think it's some sort of wood shine or wood polish and then i'm using that to kind of go over the table just to give it a little pizzazz a little furnishing a little conditioning to the wood and trying to keep it in good condition we just got this table set last year and I could already see some scratches and things in it. So I'm like, nope, I'm gonna make sure I polish it as often as possible. And then I am going to open up the Swiffer mop. And again, I got the Swiffer some months ago and it, I'm just now opening it, which if you know me, you know I will buy something because I feel I am in immediate need of it, but then it will take me months before I actually use it, which is bad. I'm gonna change that. So nevertheless, I am going to Swiffer this floor clean up this floor 
and just give this floor a nice good cleaning, a nice good, you know, wiping up of any dirt, debris, dust, you know, and especially again with Harlem using the bathroom, even though on Chucks, I didn't want to kind of get that any type of lingering smell or odor, get that up off of the floor before I place the plants back here. And this is interesting, as I'm watching this video, I kind of realized all of the plants that I have acquired. Um, I love plants, I love greenery and a, in a space. I just think it just adds some life to it. I just, I honestly didn't realize how many plants I had acquired over time. Um, most of our windows in our house are south facing. So I, you'll see I had a couple of plants in this window and believe it or not, even though I kind of squeezed them into this window, they all are doing pretty well. They're all growing. They're all like flourishing and just, just growing. So I guess I'm I'm developing a little bit of a green thumb so you'll see I'm putting back all of the plants that I have I have a snake plant I have a dumb cane I have a peace lily which believe it or not is doing fantastic I've had a couple of lilies grow out from the peace lily besides the leaf um, I try to water my plants at least I would say two times a week um, not all of them get watered at the same time I just take a look or I stick my finger in the soil to see if the soil is wet if the top layer is wet or not and definitely if is dry I'll try to give it some water I do allow the water to sit so I don't just give them straight tap water I will allow the water to sit for a little bit so that any impurities that may be in the water would dissolve or disseminate um, and then after I put all of the plants back into the window I am swiffering the rest of the floor to clean it up and to get out get up any of the dirt And you know there's nothing like saying a room is finished and put together than when you light your candle. So of course I had to light that candle because I still have a bunch of candles from my Bath and Body Works haul. So the next thing I'm going to do, which I kind of try to do at least once every quarter of the year, is I do like to tackle the garbage cans that are in my house. So I'm going to set some water to boil so that I can kind of clean out those garbage cans while I head over to the laundry room, which has about three, four bags of bottles. Again, we did have a family gathering, so all of the bottles, um, cans and plastic bottles and glass bottles, they're all there in the laundry room, so I'm trying to separate them out and put them in different bags so that when I go to the store to recycle them, they're kind of organized and put together. So I'm cleaning out the laundry room, getting rid of all of those bottles, and then I'm also going to clear the floor out so that I can also mop there. And then once the water, I see the water is boiling, I am going to attempt to, well, I'm going to clean out all of the garbage cans. Um, you'll see I'm pouring in some Fabuloso um, into each of the garbage cans. Um, once I put the Fabuloso there, then I'll add some hot water so that um, that hot water could sterilize the inside of those garbage cans. These are garbage cans from both bathrooms in my house um, my bedroom and also the recyclables which kind of had some soda and leftover juice and things that had poured into there um, when people were putting them in this um, in this garbage bin so here I am just allowing the water and the fabuloso to soak um, so that I can clean up any debris that are in the garbage cans. Again, I try to do this at least once a quarter so that there aren't any lingering odors, you know, in the garbage can. Sometimes if you don't clean out your garbage can, it'll have like lingering odors. So I like to do this at least once a quarter, clean out each of the garbage cans um, before placing them back in each of the rooms that they came from.
And lastly, after cleaning the kitchen and then the dining room, I am headed over to the laundry room. As you can see, I cleared out all of the bottles. I put them in the foyer to get ready to go to my car. And I am mopping this area in the laundry room, putting back the clean um, recycle can so that that's put together. And you know, it's voila. I t it took me about two hours to get downstairs together, but with some music going in my ear and just, you know, putting my hands to the grind, I was able to clean up down here in a few hours. You know, this is my quick Saturday morning, uh, quick clean with me. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye.